Iron Cook Up Podcast, episode 374. I'm Brandon. I'm here with Ryan. Today we're going to do our very, very first community spotlight. Now hit our theme song! <laughs> Oh, man. (laughs) Hey, Ryan. We're back for yet another whirlwind adventure. How you doing? We're back. What is going down? Not a whole lot has changed since yesterday, especially for us, because it's actually like 10 minutes since last time I answered that question. Mm -hmm. But for the listeners today, we're very excited to do our very first community spotlight ever. We're going to feature a community website, community built, community contributed that is a grand resource for everybody who likes to build EDH decks. Community, 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 community is what we talk about and it is what we have built and something that we're both very, very proud of. So we're going to talk about a member of said yeah, community. Today. Let's, let's just let the cat out of the bag real quick. Yeah. Commander Spellbook. That's what we're talking about today. So if you're interested in Commander combos or better ways to build decks online, whether that means you're looking for combos or wanting to keep combos out of your deck. Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about that today, so stay tuned. But before we get to it, we've got some biznatch. Yeah, before we do any of that kind of stuff, you do have to thank our official business daddies, FusionGamingOnline.com. They are your source for all your gaming needs. Ooh, very much. All your combo needs. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, like, you did the thing. That's usually what I say. Yeah, but I, I did it. I wanted to do it this time. So today. It feels good. It does. Mm-hmm. Every time. Today is the last day that you can use CCO Slam promo code to get 5% off. If you're listening to this on May 31st. Yes. Which which you probably are. And if you're watching on YouTube. Which you should be. Which you should be because Editor Joe actually took his road on the... Took his computer on the road. I was going to see how far (laughs) you went with that before you realized. Took his computer on the road to do this episode for us. Because he works really hard. And you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm probably pointing to it on YouTube. But if I'm not, it's it's there. Trust me. Why can't it just go where we point? Because I've noticed when I try and point at things, I'm not pointing at the thing. Why can't uh, we just put the thing where I'm pointing? They don't give you that much uh, flexibility. See, YouTube is a multi-billion dollar corporation. It's this huge thing. It's the biggest thing of its kind. Why can't they just give us the tool to when I point... The thing is where I point. All systems of control, Uncle Brando. So here's the thing. If you're listening on May 31st, today is the last day to use CCO Slam promo code. That sounds like fear marketing tactics, hey? (laughs) It's the last chance! But if you use it tomorrow, it's CCO Summer promo code. You're going to get 5% off on anything you buy at Fusion, and it lets them know that their boys sent you there, and it's a good deal for everybody because you're going to spend the money anyways. You might as well get a discount. You might as well just spend less. We're going to talk about some cards today that are involved in combos and or Brando's decks. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. And if you want to pick them up, you can get a discount. And on why them. wouldn't you? Because they're good. Because I play them. CCO Summer. That's right. Yes. Now, quick little podcasting business before we get into the community spotlight. Coming up June 16 yeah. to 18 is Command Fest Edmonton. We're going to be there. We got a discount code for you there, too. Yeah. Every which way from Sunday, you're going to get either discounts or. Or free gifts this week. And you're going to have a super good time at Command Fest Edmonton. And we know that because we've done these before and they're always fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you go to commandercookout.com. There's a blurb about registering or buying a Command Fest package. Yep. At Command Fest Edmonton, you use CCO code, just CCO, and you get a discount. And then we get a list of everybody who did that. And we're going to hunt you down or you can hunt us down and we'll give you free stuff. We're going to get to hunt people down. I'm going to. Yeah. That's the first you've told me about this. I'm going to have like a, a oh. mask and I'm going to have like that gun on my shoulder that puts the three dots on people. Oh, like the predator. Yo, yeah, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's I'm gonna dope the, as hell. I'm going to be the, the. it's going to be predator pissed off podcast. <laughs> PPO. It's going to be, I was trying to think of PPO here. Yeah. That's it. Predator pissed off podcast. Pissed off predator podcast. <laughs> P.O. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. We're going to have the CCO Summer Line there. If you're a Patreon supporter over at patreon.com slash CCO Podcast, we do have a discount for you there too. Check your Patreon messages because you can get a discount on the Summer Line when it launches on the website June 19. Correct. June, June 19. June 19. June ni- it's a Monday. 
June 19th. So there's new stickers, there's new hats, there's new shirts, there's tie-dye shirts, there's yellow shirts for Uncle yeah, Brando. Yeah, finally. Which actually, so far, like on the on the pre-sales we did for the patrons, the yellow shirts were the most popular. There it is. See? Yeah. See, yellow is a great color. Frick. It's a great <laughs> color, I'm telling you. So... That's the podcasting business. If you want to support us on, on Patreon or coffee.com slash Commander Cookout, all is appreciated. And a lot of that does go back into making the, the CCO experience and the Command Fest experience with us the best it can be, whether that means drinks, appetizers, after parties. Tacos. Tacos. The CCO house, right? CCOcos. CCOcos. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah. It's no, it's no coincidence that taco ends in CO. That's very true. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, anyways. They knew we were coming. <laughs> Oh, we're becoming. <laughs> We've got Commander Spellbook up. Yes, we do. Now, we're not talking about the Watsi product. We're talking about a website, commanderspellbook.com. Dot com. Not the spellbooks. Not spellbook Chandra. Yeah, forget those. Yeah, those aren't those. Though I do play some of those foils. Me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... I, I want to give a little bit of a blurb. I have some stuff written down where I don't want to just read into the microphone because that always sounds bad. That but always I, sounds shitty. But I want to make sure that I got it like covered, right? So what is it? It's a database, database, database for Commander or EDH combos. A user-built database. That's important. This isn't like an AI thing that's like pulling combos out of oh, asses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you, they have a Discord that we're going to talk about in yep. a little bit. Yep. You can join the Discord for free, and if you have a combo that you want to submit, you submit it there. The people will go over it, and if it's the thing, they'll put it onto the search engine so other people can find it. Yeah. So as of now, as of this recording, I'm looking at... what. 18,340 EDH combos. And which... that's just with Intruder Alarm. <laughs> it sounds daunting, but because it's a search engine, you can you can slice it and dice it any way you want. They've got a syntax guide. If you don't know how to like enter search terms in, they'll tell you. Yeah. But when I use the advanced search, I came up with some some st- <laughs> definitely one that you're going to like and definitely one that feels very CCO. Ooh. But before we get to it, I do want to a little bit just kind of poke around the site a little bit. And we were doing that. We were, uh-oh. <gasps> <gasps> no! <gasps> that was the first time that ever happened. Brando typed in Arc Slogger and we one of our most famous combos ever was with Arc Slogger oh. and, and getting... Arc, oh. Arc Slogger, which which Joe will have it on the screen if you're watching on YouTube. Which you should But be. you exile 10 cards from your graveyard to deal 2 damage. From your library. Is it your library? It's from your library. Arc Slogger. Okay, we'll give it a read. Okay, this is this is kind of going to be a live build oh. type thing. And, and oh, I know, I'm so excited. I know I that people, people in the nation that. really, really <laughs> like when we do the live stuff like this. Okay, so Arc Slogger is red, red, 3, beast. You pay red. Exile the top 10 cards of your library. Arc Slogger deals two damage to any target. How bad so is that? This How is bad? what we would do. Now, I'm part of the Commander Spellbook Discord, so I could submit this combo. Peep this. It's got to go in a red, white, uh, red, white, whatever Commander deck. I think it was blue. Red, white, blue? I think is what we sure. did. Sure. The other card in the combo is one of the Eldrazi Titans that shuffles itself back in, mm-hmm. and a card called... Pull from Eternity. Pull from Eternity is an instant, mind you, mm-hmm. that says put target face-up card that's removed from the game or in exile into its owner's graveyard. Yeah. Oh, it has to be blue because you need um, you need like a dramatic reversal so you can infinitely like untap an Isochron Scepter. Yeah. Then you need to copy an Isochron <laughs> Scepter to put a pull from Eternity on it. Yes. So you pull from Eternity the the Ulamog or the Kozilek from Exile into your graveyard, mm-hmm. and you make that the last card you do that with, thereby shuffling your graveyard back into your library and being able to exile cards with Arc Slogger again. Yeah. So it was it was the <laughs> worst, most convoluted, like... Oh, my God. S- you need to solve for infinite red. Yeah. You need to solve for two Isochron Scepters. For you need, infinite untaps. You need... For, oh, oh, man. You needed so many cards in three colors, and that combo, 
not in this database. Oh, but it's, it's going to be, though. <laughs> it's going to be soon. Oh, baby, I am so excited. We got one. It's just the thing. And how exciting is that? You could feel as excited as we are. I, I, I think I think that's what drew me to Commander Spellbook is, oh. is always... Tr- and, and what drew us to EDH Rec at, at the start of Commander Cookout and wanting to do the spice calculator and the milk list. Remember the milk list? Yeah, everybody loves the milk list. Yeah, we we wanted to do the thing that nobody else was doing. And Commander Spellbook helps us do that in in that you type in Arc Slogger and it's like, we did it. We did something that nobody else has done yet. Yeah. And it feels good and creative and vindicating yeah. and it feels all those things. And and for that reason, I would recommend that people go and, and try like, what if you have a combo that, that has your pet card? Maybe there's a hundred combos that, that have it. Sure. Maybe there's zero. Right. And you'll never know unless you go there and try it yeah. and, and have fun when you do it. Oh, look. Yeah. Cool. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh, so, that's really neat. So it's exactly what you think it is, though. Like, yeah. So we were we were typing in some of our commanders. Like, type in Animar because we both have an Animar deck. Mm-hmm. And my combo that I looked up and and searched for specifically was for your Animar deck Ooh. because I know it runs clones. Lots so, of them. Brando typed in Animar. I almost called you Andrew. That'd be weird. Andrew typed in Brandamar, <laughs> and thirty seven combos came up, and it shows not only the color but what cards in addition to Animar you need. Right. And also what the combo yields you. So the very first one, Animar and Ancestral Statue. That's the one that I think everybody probably thinks about when they Yeah, that's think that's Animar. the flagship combo in Animar decks. So if you click on it, and Editor Joe will maybe have this overlaid over the screen. Sorry I didn't say that earlier, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but it says prerequisites. Animar and oh, sorry, ancestral statue in hand. Animar on the battlefield with at least four plus one plus one counters on it. Easy enough. Easy enough. Now, the steps. Number one, cast Animar by... Frick, I can't do it. (laughs) Cast Ancestral Statue by paying zero. Because Animar provides the discount. Yes. Two, Animar triggers, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Sure. Three, Ancestral Statue enters the battlefield, returning itself from the battlefield to your hand. That's what Ancestral Statue does, is when it comes into play, you bounce a creature to your hand. You just bounce itself. Yes. Four, repeat one through three. <laughs> yes. And that's the combo. <laughs> that's it. And the, then... the result, infinite plus ones, infinite ETB, infinite leave the battlefield, infinite storm count. Sounds good. Yeah. And it also gives you more information than that. How many decks of Animar is it in, according to EDHREC.com? 5,907. This is the Animar combo that everybody likes to use. Yes. And m- probably my favorite part, especially when you see the, the freaking eight card monstrosity <laughs> I came up with your Animar deck, <laughs> you can buy this combo, Animar and Ancestral Statue, for $7.33. And if you click that button, it'll go right to it and then you just own it. Yeah. And that's how easy it is to use Commander Spellbook. You know, or here's another thing that you can do. You could just write the cards down and go to FusionGamingOnline.com. Use promo code CCO Summer. Save yourself five percent off of that co- off of that combo, which would be what like huh. not a lot, but enough that you could buy some commons. And as we talked about yesterday, everybody loves buying commons. Oh yeah, I see yesterday's show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, a couple other things because we're we're gonna feature as much as we can. Yes. What I like, and we do it on Commander Cookout, everybody does it as much as they do it, is they showcase the fresh new hotness, right? Yes. So we can go there and we can see right there's a button for aftermath combos right there. And then there's a whole list of featured combos that are from the new set. And you'd think, well, that's fine. It gets updated three times a year. No. Have you seen how many magic sets come out? (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, there is one including Tazri Stalwart Survivor that exiles your library. What else does it do, Ryan and Brando? That's it. Mm Mm-hmm. I really want crickets chirping in there. (laughs) I don't know who does that, you or Joe. (laughs) Oh, 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 that makes me happy. That makes me happy, too. So it showcases new stuff. It's got the Find My Combo feature. Go back to the main page there, Uncle Brando. Okay. And and Find My Combos. So you can enter your deck list in. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it gives you the syntax in how to 
update your like copy and paste your deck in and then it'll just tell you the combos that are in your deck and i would say to you uncle brando this would be very good for people like yourself like yeah. fu jesse like fu smitty who don't like playing combos right yes so you told me that you did similar probably the hard way though Yes. What combo did you find in your deck? Ooh, I will, I will, I will do it. And everybody, when I say this, people are gonna go, Brando, are you bad? Yes. Are you bad at this? And so then, you just typed in straight up Harobi. Harobi, as in Harobi Death's Whale. Yes. One of the first cards featured on the show, a deck that I am going to rebuild. Oh no. <laughs> the time is nigh. And everybody's going to pay for it. And the deck is going to be better because now I know that these combos exist. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. See, they've created a monster. Because in my Hirobi deck, I play Revel in Riches because, of course, I do. Yes. That's whenever, whenever a creature dies, you get a treasure. Yes. And if you have 10 treasures at the beginning of your next upkeep, you win the game. And when I play it, I'm like, I'm going to win the game. I'm going to kill all these creatures using my lands. Yeah. And then I'm going to win. What I never thought was, man, your lands like desert or 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 whatever that tap to like give a creature banding. Yes. Target creature banding. Target creature dies because Hirobi kills it. That's, That's right. That's what Hirobi does. Love that. Okay. Love that for me. What I never thought about was I could just use the treasure counters from Revel and Riches to activate creatures and kill all of the creatures forever. I don't understand. Please describe. So let's just say, for example, we have a Revel and Riches in play, an enchantment yes. for five. We have Hirobi in play, which means whenever a creature becomes the copy or the target of an ability, destroy that creature. And let's just say, for example, we have a Tetsumok Primal Death. Oh, that's the third hand. card. That's the combo. So for black, you can reveal it from your hand and put a prey counter on target, target creature. That will kill the creature, creating a treasure token that you can then sack for a black to reveal Tetsumok to dead, right? You keep all the creatures dead forever. And you keep them all dead for all time. Now because that, you can reveal Tetsumok to do a prey counter at instant speed. Sorcery speed. Oh, well, you do it on your turn. But you do it on your turn. It yeah. kills everybody. Or you can do the same thing with Ogre Slumlord, Shadow Alley Denizen. That's another way. It make, as you kill dudes, you're going to make a new dude, which lets you target a dude with Shadow Alley Denizen. Cycle through. That's another. Those those cards were in my Hirobi deck, and you didn't even know that. And there I was didn't combo. even know they interacted like that. I never thought of it. So the, you take your deck out, out of like um, Archidect or or wherever you have it. You mm -hmm. copy your deck list and you paste it into Find My Combo, and it spits out all of these different combos. Not only what colors it takes to do them. If your deck was more than just mono black Hirobi, right? It would it would show you the colors, and you can see what combo. What, what the density of combos in that color are, which mm -hmm. could inform your mana base, which is is a is a thing that I don't think a lot of new players... Like, they'll try to do, like, the distribution of mana across the three colors their deck is. They'll go on Architect or whatever, they see the pie. Yes. And then they try and make the outside of the pie and the inside of the pie the Match. same. And, yeah. and that's great. That's a great way to do it. But what if we need certain colors earlier or only care about them later? Mm -hmm. Or what if the density of combos is concentrated onto one or two colors more than others, you could use the find my deck combo to, or find my combo feature yes. to better inform how you build your combo decks. Yeah, if you want them to function properly, like Hirobi is probably not the best example no. in this particular case. That's why I liked Animar because it's three yeah, colors. And it, I need green right now. So you want to be more green heavy in your mana base because you want your combo to be more consistent and happen more often. Or again, I'm going to I'm going to take the opposite of you on a lot of this today in yeah. that you might not want that. Yeah. And I've got a couple combos in decks where it's like I don't run tutors and mm -hmm. I don't run like a super high density of the mm -hmm. same kind of effect that the combo wants because Sometimes the game's got to end, but I don't want it to end with the same combo every single time. Yeah, you don't want to play your deck down too hard. Yeah, yeah, and and if I know that that combo's in there, that's something that I can tell to people in like a rule zero conversation. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about community in, in a couple minutes, but I can tell them that it's in there, but there's no way to find it. Yeah. Or I've got this infinite combo that's really convoluted in eight cards, but it's an eight-card combo. Yeah, it's got eight cards in it, and if 
if that happens, that's your fault, not mine. Right? Like, or in this case, it's my fault. Yes. Because <laughs> I found it. And I'm going to yeah. tell you what it is. I was going back to this thing. When I was looking for Hirobi and I was looking through all these things, both I felt like a goon. But the top, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. The top ten combos that were listed, with the exception of one that plays green, all of them existed in my deck or in my new version of it, and I didn't really realize any of it. I didn't realize that... And that's why you come to Commander Cook Yeah, <laughs> and like, this could... This goes soft infinite. This is infinite kill all the creatures forever. Every time a creature dies, all the creatures die. Yeah. And I did... Because my I'm not a combo guy, really. I just saw the synergy and want to play Some, the card right sometimes it's hard to find right and yeah. like i would i would use commander spellbook because i've got a calamax deck calamax it is famous for going accidentally infinite like yeah. gave right oh that's oh there they hey, are oh there's yeah there, so there before it is. the show we were we were trying to find cards that that combo more than any other card Ka you must have spelled it wrong. i spelled calamax wrong i don't know how to spell calamax I, you keep telling i don't what know we're doing. how to spell it either and i'm gonna keep searching there, there we go. Is. Six. Six combos with Calamax, and, and we all know that that's lacking. Yes. <laughs> right? But we were searching Kiki Jiki, who's got like 300 and some combos. Yeah, we searched Intruder Alarm. <laughs> we searched Intruder Alarm, and we couldn't find a card that had more combos than Intruder Alarm. And if you can find one, put it in the in the comments down below. 400 and, let's call it 450. 449, but as of the end of the show, there's probably going to be 15 more. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> I'm just, oh, accidentally went infinite with intruder alarm. Yeah. So the 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 second reason that I really liked and wanted to do this community spotlight is is actually for the community part of it. Like you said, was was a community built, which I really feel like Commander Cookout is like that. It's really ground up. Yeah. Supported by the people that like it. And I think that the people who like Commander Cookout will like Commander Spellbook for finding combos, for tuning or detuning, and for including or not including combos. Like, any way I sliced it, I was like, this makes sense for the people that listen to this show to to try this tool. Yeah, or, I mean, this is a... I just thought of this now. I've been trying to teach myself how to play my Hapatra deck oh. for a long oh. time. <laughs> There's combos in there. And I'm not good at it, but... If I do, if I use Commander Spellbook, put my list in and go through, it'll teach me how to do it. Oh my god! I just realized that just now. This website's gonna teach me how to play my deck. Get good, scrub. Wow! I'm gonna. So here's the thing. We're we're back. We yeah. took it. We took a break for Brando and Joe. I had to get to do my thing. I had to get my my breath back. <laughs> <laughs> After realizing that I'm going to finally get good at playing one of my decks, so this com this community aspect, yes, right. So right when we're when we're talking with with all the all the good people at Commander Spellbook, they're telling us about they've got this community aspect, and I'm like, it fits right in. We do on Commander Cookout a lot of sharing and asking, like, did you like this? What would you guys like to see? Yeah. Uh, and and we get a lot of positive feedback and constructive feedback. And I think that's how the, the Discord for Commander Spellbook works in that when you submit a combo, people talk about it and they verify it essentially, right? Yep. Yes, it works. And they work out the steps to make it as clear as possible c collaboratively. Right. And then they they add more stuff. It's like Animar and Ancestral Statue. That's great. Yeah. How do you win the game? Well... Also, add Walking Ballista. There you go. Cast Walking Ballista for infinite, and then remove infinite counters from it, and then you win the game by dealing infinite damage to all your opponents, right? Right. And that's not included in the number one combo on Animar, but I bet you it's the number two combo, <laughs> is, is adding that one extra card because somebody collaborated and said, how do we solve for life or damage? Yeah, how do we solve for win? Win, right? And that's the trouble that I think a lot of people, when they play a complex combo deck like a Hapatra deck where it's yeah. two or three different combos that do just slightly different things or like when I play my Zata deck yeah. it's got a backup win con where I'm making infinite number of hasty tokens of dual caster mage with twin flame right? because dual caster mage copies the twin flame 
and then the Twin Flame copies the Dual Caster Mage, and you make infinite combos. Mm -hmm. You could find that combo if you search Dual Caster Mage or Twin Flame on Commander Spellbook. And that's a backup win con in my Zata deck. When you go to edhrec.com, you see Dual Caster Mage and Twin Flame in Zata decks. And I think a lot of new players would say something like, um, why, why is that in there? I don't get it. And you can go to the Discord and you can find it. Number one combo right there in 29,301 decks. Dual Caster, Mage, and Twin Flame. Infinite Creature Tokens with Haste, Infinite ETB, Infinite Mage Craft Triggers. <laughs> there you go, right? And you click through that real quick. It's in mono red. Okay. And you can find the combo for less than three bucks. It gives you the five steps and... It tells you all of the other metadata and what the combo yields. Like, it's so easy. Yeah. And that's achieved collaboratively through the Commander Spellbook Discord, which seems like a fantastic place. Everybody seems kind of kind of good in there. I'm not the best at Discord, but I try. And it, I don't know, nobody's called me a moron yet. <laughs> Wait until we submit that Arc Slogger combo, <laughs> then we'll see. Then we'll see who's Those in. guys at Commander Cook out there breaking the site. <laughs> we are. Yeah. So... One more feature I want to discuss just because I like trivia and they do have a random combo button right on the thing and like I would like to make some kind of trivia game like that where it's like here's two cards what's the third one in the combo or how does this combo go infinite or whatever right. Let and me hit you with this. Here's a combo that I played in a deck but I had to add I think three more colors to make it work. What? And they've they've given it to me with with one color. Man, you suck at combos. I know. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> that's why I make my dudes big and attack with them. All right. Or learn that one really good one for Muxo Man because that one's that one's pretty good. Yeah, that's like six cards though. Yeah. Well, technically it's just two, but you gotta arrange things. Yes. And all that kind of stuff. But it's what do you look? Oh, I'm looking up Muxus. How do you spell it? M U X U S. Oh, U S. Muxus. Zero combos with Muxus? No. That's a lie. I don't know how to spell conspicuous Snoop. Maybe, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's Mux ass. Muxus. No, it's not Mux ass. Well, either. I'll submit the Muxus combo. Muxies? Mux <laughs> Muxus. I'm just going to keep, I'm going to replace every thing. <laughs> I just searched for Mux. There's none in there. That's another one for Uncle Brando. Chalk up the old Uncle Brando second point on the chalkboard. And it's my favorite one. But here. Look at that. Here. Sick. I'm gonna outline. I'm gonna outline the best. Okay, you're gonna outline the best gonna, of all combos. And I'm, I'm going to have to read from my computer screen. So everybody, bear with me. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm gonna have to. You tell me never to do that, but I'm gonna have to. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're okay. Do this. So I go to advanced search. This okay. is my favorite part of any search engine. The advanced Scryfall one. Scryfall or EDH Rack or like when I'm buying singles, I search advancedly. Yes. And I go to number of cards in combo. Okay. I go. Contains more than X cards, and I put seven. Because <laughs> nobody's getting mad at you for a seven card combo. No, they can't. Because you know I'm not playing tutors. Correct. Or maybe one. <laughs> one is not seven. Does one of them find all seven cards? No. <laughs> no. So that's what it does. Okay. That's what I do. So. Bro. Okay. Hit me with it. Ley line of singularity, Protean Hulk, Phantasmal Image, and five other cards. <laughs> Now, so hang so so far we've made all creatures legendary. Yes, Leyline of Singularity is and I'll send Joe the link for this is combo number 4809. So I'll send you the link, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Leyline of Singularity, if if it's in your opening hand, you start with it on the battlefield. As a Leyline does. Who, who cares though? Blue blue 2. All non-land permanents are legendary. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. Protean Hulk, everybody's favorite combo piece. Yes. Didn't get banned, and, and Flash did. Is Protean Hulk, does it have more combos? Oh, that's a good alarm. one. Protean Hulk. 11. 11. So is no, one of them mine? Not. Is one of them the one that I have here? Uh, What colors is it? Oh, oh, oh. Is okay, this don't, it? don't read that. Don't read that. Okay, I'm, it's a surprise. You okay. I, I, didn't, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Okay. I just saw what colors it is. Protean Fine. Hulk. 6-6 six, six beast for green, green, 5. When it dies, search your library for any number of creature cards with total converted mana cost 6 or less and put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Okay. Phantasmal image and 5 other cards. 
Phantasmal image is whenever it becomes... It's a clone. Right. But when it gets targeted, you got to sacrifice it. Right. Okay. It's got scaredy ghost. Yes. Loaming Shaman. You may you might remember such hits from M20 as Loaming Shaman and Friends. 3-2 Centaur, Centaur Shaman for Green 2. I can picture the art, but I can't... I don't remember what it does. When Loamy Shaman enters the battlefield, target player shuffles any number of target cards from their graveyard into their library. Okay. 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 You could maybe also substitute Ulamog and thereby also fit this into the same deck as Arc Slogger combo if you want to play five color. Oh, <laughs> and we do. <laughs> and then we've got Clone, Renegade, Doppelganger, Clever Impersonator, and Mirror Image, which are all clones. Yes, they could all be clones. They're all not. some iteration of clone, and that's why I thought this would go yeah. in your Animar deck. Okay. Because it's blue-green. Yeah. Commander Spellbook tells me this. Yes. Prerequisites. Okay. These are what we need to have in play for the combo to take place. Okay. Protean Hulk and Leyline of Singularity on the on the battlefield. Okay. On the B. Okay. Phantasmal Image in hand. Okay. Got it. All other cards in library. Balls all the other cards. We don't need them. Okay. But we're both freaking wait. <laughs> also, blue colorless available. Presumably to cast okay. your phantasmal image. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <clears throat> I hit the mic when I cracked my knuckles. Be prepared. Because this combo doesn't have one step. Not two. Not three. Nay, not oh. even six. This combo has 22 <laughs> steps. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Uncle Brando could play this in his anime. Yeah, now we're, now we're talking CCO combos. You thought that Arc Slogger one was, was a hit? Look at this. Whew. Here we go, baby. Okay. One. One. Cast Phantasmal Image by paying that blue one that we had okay. and have it enter the battlefield as a copy of Protean Hulk. Uh-oh. Step two. Let Phantasmal Image Protean Hulk die because it's legendary. Right. Okay. Okay. Three, Phantasmal Image triggers allowing you to search your library for Loaming Shaman, Mirror Image, put them onto the battlefield. That's what Protean Hulk lets you do when it dies. Correct. Four, choose to have the Mirror Image enter the battlefield as a copy of Protean Hulk. Five, let the Mirror Image die due to the legend rule. Six, Mirror Image and Loaming Shaman trigger. Seven, resolve the Loaming Shaman trigger, shuffle Phantasmal Image, Mirror Image, and any number of cards from your graveyard into your library. Eight. Did I say seven? We're on eight. Okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> Resolve the mirror image trigger, searching your library for a phantasmal image, mirror image, and any other creature with mana value one, putting them onto the battlefield. Nine. <laughs> Have both creatures enter the battlefield as copies of Protean Hulk. Ten. Let phantasmal image and mirror image die to the legend rule. Eleven. Phantasmal image and mirror image each trigger. Twelve. Resolve one trigger, searching your library for cle Clever Impersonator and Renegade Dombokanger, put and putting them onto the battlefield. Thirteen, choose to have Clever Impersonator enter the battlefield and copy Protean Hulk. Fourteen, let the Clever Impersonator die due to legend rule. <laughs> Fifteen, Clever Impersonator and Rep Renegade Doppelganger trigger. Sixteen, resolve Renegade Doppelganger ability, having it enter as a copy of in Clever Impersonator, copying Protean Hulk. <laughs> Seventeen, let the Renegade Doppelganger die due to legend rule. Eighteen, Renegade Doppelganger and Protean Hulk ability trigger, allowing you to search your library for a clone this time, <laughs> and any creature with mana value two, putting them onto the battlefield. That one and that two, those creatures themselves could combo. Yes. Like if you got... Anyways. Yes. But that's not what we're doing here. 19. <laughs> <laughs> Choose to have clone enter the battlefield as copy loaming shaman. 20. Let clone die due to legend rule. 21. Clone triggers allowing you to shuffle clone, renegade doppelganger, clever impersonator, phantasmal image, loaming shaman, marching mirror, mirror image from the graveyard <laughs> to the library. 22. Resolve clever impersonator's protein hulk ability. Repeat this combo from step 8. <laughs> I don't even know if I said all the not, the oh, right freaking cards. Oh my god! But that's the combo. Oh, that's an and, eight card combo. And what a, and that gives you what does that net you? That's, what that's going to net you kay. is infinite enter the battlefields. Right. So the creature that you could have found, that one drop creature, remember, mm -hmm. could have been like uh, like an essence warden. So you could also gain infinite life, making Ooh. this a nine card combo that would also yield infinite life, infinite death triggers. Right. So if you added black and 
search for a two drop that could have been a blood artist infinite death triggers could have also made it a 10 card combo Ooh, way to go commander spellbook missing out on value <laughs> also put all creatures with mana value two or less from your library onto the battlefield and that's those two cards that that we haven't solved for yet yes and this is the best part okay is five people on edh rec are actually doing this <laughs> I don't know if they know that they're doing it, <laughs> but they are. That's amazing. Oh, oh that is... that's infinitely more people that are playing this combo than Ark Slogger combo. Whoa. Wow. 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 We, so that was quite a, that was a ride. A hey, now I ask you this. Okay. With the help of commander Spellbook, Yeah. Will you play this combo? I mean, you're going to need a cheat sheet. <laughs> I do have all the cards for it, and I could copy and paste the instructions from Commander Spellbook into a. What, do people still use Word documents? Oh, yeah. But we're going to get one of those. I can print that off. I can fold it up, put it in the deck box, email it to yourself so you can check it on your phone. And you I can study it when you're riding the bus. The only card that I'm not playing from that. It's probably the Loaming Shaman, hey? Is or the Protean Hulk. Well, I guess Protean Hulk, Leyland of Singularity, and. The other thing. The Loaming Shaman. Shaman. Yeah, those, do, those aren't cards that everybody plays. But I do own them. I do own them. So, super cool. Now, I also like that the Leyline of Singularity is in a clone deck. Yeah, that yeah, doesn't make that, sense. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't jive. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Only clone my, my opponent's guys, though, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, That's what you do, kind of, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I clone the best one, and I clone it and clone it and clone it. And clone oh, it. That's how clone yeah. decks work, you well, see. Well, we could maybe eliminate the, uh, one card from this combo if our opponent has a Protean Hulk. Oh, baby. Because that card sees playing lots of decks. F.U. Alex does that all the time. Oh, what a... What a freaking guy. What a chump. So the final thing I wanted to talk about here on the on the community spotlight, I hope that everybody from from Commander Spellbook who who's part of this community spotlight <laughs> enjoyed this. And anybody who's contributed combos, especially this 22 step monstrosity <laughs> that I read, I hope that they enjoyed it. Cause it's it's a ton of fun talking about. But the last thing that I wanted to mention about them is they've got a YouTube channel where they do like um, they highlight a combo. Uh oh, you know, uh -oh. you know, I was yeah. gonna do that. You they know highlight a combo, and it's a little video that shows just like the tappings and the untappings, and and like what it yields and and the steps. Yeah. Step one, do this. Step two, do this. And they're like a couple minutes long, and I want to see like the the freaking marathon video that is the combo that I just read. Yes, I want to see them do. I that. I want to see that, but. I think that you've got one more uh, bone to pick. Oh, man. How could we have done this without, you know, combos involving something powerful? Like maybe, maybe. some card that yeah. Brando signs yeah. frequently? Maybe he's handsome. Maybe he's versatile. Maybe he's Brash Taunter. Oh, yeah. 37 combos involving my boy Brashy B. Not the least of which is, of course, the top one, Blazing Sunsteel and Brash Taunter. One day they will create a Blazing Sunsteel that is foil just for me. And, and I it will blaze. Oh, it certainly will. That's infinite damage, obviously. I think all of these are infinite damage. Infinite damage, infinite damage, infinite damage, infinite damage. Target player takes a lethal amount of damage. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> Target player takes, takes a, a lethal, lethal amount, amount of damage. Uh, oh, my oh, God. Oh, oh, because Tree of Perdition makes it... Exchange um, life total. Oh, you exchange target opponent's life total with Tree of Perdition's toughness. So their life total becomes 13. Then you blasphemous act your Brash Taunter for 13 and kill them with it. Exaxies! <laughs> and and that's, that's a little thing that... <laughs> Oh, I knew that you would laugh at oh, Brash Taunter. I'm going to do that's that. That's in 262 decks. Oh, that's happening. 263 today. <laughs> that's right. That's the kind of thing where, okay, so let's say you're a new player, or you submit this combo in the Discord, and it's they're like, oh, yeah, it's lethal damage, or or sorry, it's it's um kill your opponent. Well, yes. no, but what does it actually do? It deals exactly a lethal amount of damage, and that's the kind of thing that through community discussion, yeah. they can be as thorough as possible and when you're thorough and simple to understand and read, it makes 
learning and education simple, which contributes to a higher class or higher quality of gameplay and players. And that's what I think Commander Spellbook Commander Spellbook contributes to the EDH community. And it lets you learn things like Brash Taunter is so powerful, so versatile, so handsome. He possesses three infinite combos that aren't even in anybody's decks. Nobody even... There's more combos with Brash Taunter than there are decks to play him, and that's amazing. One of them is a Sakashima thing and, like, three cards I've never heard of. One of them is those same cards I've never heard of, but with one different one. So... And one of them is a Nin the Pain Artist combo, so you know that it's bad. So I, I got you. Hit me. I'm going to hit you. Hit me. I'm going to hit you. Hit me. Okay. So you like Brash Taunter. No. So I, I type in one of my favorites uh -oh. that people get me to sign sometimes. Okay. Persistent Petitioners. <laughs> so I type in Persistent just because I'm lazy. Right. And I'm like, whoa, Persistent Petitioners are so meta, <laughs> so on the underground, so hipster. Right. The combos that include a card with Persistent in its name yeah. don't even include blue. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got um, two combos, no deck data. Oh. With persistent specimen in both of them. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that? is that? This is a card from uh, is it, it, with the bat. Is that Crimson Vow? Crimson Vow. Crimson Vow. It's Ball, Lord of Murder. <laughs> Oh, man. What a good time. Oh, I'm so happy we did this. Persistent oh, Specimen, shit. Crystalline Crawler, and Ashnod's Altar, because of course. Yeah, naturally. How yes. many combos does that card have? Oh, good good, good question. Oh, it, hold on. It took me It took me to EDA track. Hold on. Ash, Nod's Altar. Man, see, it's live. It's live build. Oh, oh, we found it. Did we find it? 1,768. Oh, shit. Frick. Oh man! How about Phyrexian Altar? Oh, I think that before you hit search, oh. do you think it's more or less? I think it's less. I think it's less. I think it's less. It gives you less mana, therefore less. Oh, 1605? Oh, We're not, not that far off. Much. Not, not far, far off. Much. Wow, wow. We did it. We've we found. Is hey, that look, the most combo we combo card? Uh, I think so. And if like you could just slog through all that, but you could sort by color, sort by number of cards, sort by price, sort by color identity. Yeah, and then so you're... you don't have to. It's fine when persistent petitioners or or arc slogger don't have any combos, <laughs> but when your card has sixteen hundred, it makes a difference. And that's again just it leans into the power and of the search engine and just the findability, usability, and. And all of that being simple and easy to understand makes it contribute to the format, I think, in a positive and meaningful way. It's kind of like magic where it's easy to learn but hard to master. Oh. Yeah. I would say magic is hard to learn and impossible to master. No, magic is easy. Teaching somebody the rules of magic is super easy. I it suppose. It takes 10 minutes. It Tap takes creature no... sideways. Yeah, it takes no time. But then once you actually sit down to play and they realize, well, Frick. All of these cards are contrary to what you said a minute ago. <laughs> Every card breaks the rule, and you say, yeah, that's the rule. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's supposed to work. You learn the rules, and then you find how you can break them the best so that you win. That's what magic is. Yeah. That's why it's hard. Very much so. So, anything, final thoughts on Commander Spellbook? Again, I want to say a big thanks to everybody who, who emailed and worked with us and was open to... Uh, us doing this in our own way. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I <laughs> because like because I actually had more fun than I thought I was going to finding yeah. stuff that wasn't even in our show notes, like the Ashnod's <laughs> altar thing and the persistent oh. petitioners thing and the Ark Slogger thing. I didn't even think of the Ark <laughs> Slogger. It's like one of our most famous <laughs> yeah, combos it's... that zero people have heard of. <laughs> I guess we only know about it. That well, the awesome people in the nation. Oh, we appreciate man. them, and I think that they will appreciate this. Too, because it does everything that you want it to do. It either powers up or powers down your deck. It also does that thing that we like to talk about all the time, where if you're going to play something dirtily and weird and involves eight cards and 22 steps, you have to be able to physically do it. You have to, you have to understand you, you it. You have to know how to manipulate cardboard so other people can understand yeah. it, too. Also very important. Yeah. And this... this group of people not only do they have a website that will teach you the combo they have a video site on youtube that you can maybe go check out you can actually see how they do it oh 
Maybe they'll teach you a shortcut that you didn't know. Last thing, speaking of contributing via via submitting a combo on the Discord, they are always looking for for programmers and you can get in and and I guess apply to be a programmer through the Discord. Yeah. So if if you know anything about programming i don't know if you need to know anything because i'm not a programmer and yeah. didn't look into applying yeah i don't know shit about that so i don't but, know how much useful i'd be but you can if you if you want to do that and you too can contribute in even more meaningful ways that was the last last thing i wanted to yeah, say yeah you can actually do the whole thing you can be part of the thing on the ground up you can be part of the team oh ground zero of commander yeah and getting in on the ground floor is a good thing yeah get in on zero drop you're a memnite <laughs> You're a kobold. And you can work your way all the way up to being a protean hulk. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. I would say Emrakul, but I don't really like Emrakul that much. Yeah, protean hulk. Eight car combos. Because, <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's what you do. Although most, let's let's be honest, most protean hulk combos involve lots of cards. Yeah, because you search for multiples all at once, right? Yeah, you got yeah. all the Memnites and all the Ornithopters and all the... Disciple Sliver, of the vault. Slivers that deal damage and or, or the, the poisonous slivers, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that yeah. was so cool and so good. Yeah. So Rules here's zero. the thing. Yes. Big thanks to all the Patreon supporters. Yep. Patreon.com slash CCO podcast. If you've listened to Commander Coco for the first time because you saw it on Commander Spellbook, welcome. We are just two dudes and we yeah. we just chill and talk about magic and we're a ton of fun. Come to Command Fest Edmonton. Yeah, that's that's a threat. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you'll have fun there. We will make you. Yeah, we, exactly. You will or else. <laughs> Actually, it's impossible to not. I, we've said it a bunch of yeah. times. Command Fest, the best way to experience magic outside of the kitchen table with your friends. Yeah. It's the uh, best. Adjust question, my liege. Sure. CCO Experience Command Fest, best way to yes. experience Command Fest. Well, yeah, that goes without saying. That's why I didn't say it. Yeah. But it's the truth. Big thanks again, Commander Spellbook, first ever community feature. If you want to be featured, you get at us, commandercookout at gmail.com, CCO Podcast on Twitter, CCO Brando. We had an Instagram giveaway happen today. If you don't follow us on Instagram, Commander Cookout there, you should, uh, because we're not doing it on the show, because this show is dedicated to Commander Spellbook. Um, final big thanks goes out to FusionGamingOnline.com. If you want to buy the eight cards I described in 22 Steps of Combo or a Brash Taunter, mm -hmm. you can go there, use CCO Summer promo code and get a discount. You're going to buy them anyways because who doesn't want to do eight card combos? Or play Brash Taunter. Might as well get a discount and it lets everybody at Fusion know that the boys at CCO sent you and it's a good deal for everybody. Everybody loves that. Uh, anything else before we go? I think that should do it. Thanks again to Commander Spellbook for letting us do this, letting us be part of the team. We do appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Picked last on the playground. Yeah, usually we are. But you know what? We always make up for it by hitting the home runs and making the clutch plays where it counts. And that's what we did today. And that's why we have the best community in all of Magic the Gathering. Truth. I don't say that enough. You guys are 7 out of 10. We really appreciate you being here. And we're going to appreciate you even more on the next exciting episode of the Commander Cookout Podcast. Hit our theme song! Oh.